else to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Good morning, good morning, guys Well... The sun is shining. Yeah, we're still at the Husky truck stop. I don't know if you can see it over there, but we're yeah, still at the Husky truck stop. Just uh, we gotta wait a few more minutes and then we can uh, get out of here. Yeah, had me my bowl of cereal and went and grabbed me my cup of coffee. Yeah. Now we are all set. The logbook is all ready to go. We got uh, 2,000. Well, according to uh, RJ there, I don't know how good you can be able to see that, but we got 2,024 kilometers to go to Winnipeg to our first uh, delivery. So it's gonna be a two days worth of hard driving not going to be easy taking or slow type of driving for the next two days and that's okay that's what we wanted right been uh, telling you guys from for a little while that I want to get some extra miles in and do some hard work and pay off some of that debt right so that's uh, the opportunity we're getting now so yeah anyways let's get out of here and that's uh, coming right along with us and see what you will be able to find on our video today you never know you never know things happen in a split second they really do so sometimes uh, you know we get it on camera and sometimes we don't sometimes we can only talk about it yeah, I'm just kind of looking at that uh, flat dike there. I haven't seen that before, but that flat dike over there, I don't know if you wouldn't be able to see that, but he's got a chain there in the back, and the second one from the back there, there he's got a strap, and that hook there is actually not hooked into the trailer. So that's considered a non-secured load. Yeah. I'm sure by the time he wakes up or gets up or whatever, he's going to go take a walk around, he's going to inspect his load, and he's going to realize and he's going to retie it, right? At least that's what you would think, right? I think so. Flat track drivers are usually very good. They, uh, they usually do go around and inspect their loads. At least I remember when I used to do a little bit of flat track. I used to drive for Big Freight, did a year and two months with them and uh, that was one of the things we always did in the morning that that was a given we walk around we check all our straps chains whatever you know make sure they're not loose because that's what DUT will pick on right because they they're right there in the opening and see that right so anyways we don't have a scale for a little while there is one just before we get to this husky that one was closed last night so it should be good for a little while so Let's get out of here. Well guys, we are just leaving uh, North Bay, Ontario right now. Yeah. Had us a little bit of a pit stop up here at the uh, Petro Truck Stop. To take care of some business. That's right. We got ready, got three hours worth of driving behind us. So now we're getting into the uh, Speed morning. A little more hillier uh, sections of Ontario. But as we go along on this Highway 11, it is not as hilly as uh, Highway 17. So we're actually in good shape for that part. The next bigger town we got is New Liskard, Ontario. That's probably about an hour and a half away from here. Yeah, so we got a long ways to go. 
go. But we will get there. Yep, we still have 1783 kilometers to go to Winnipeg. So. That's a little over a thousand miles. Actually, that's uh, that'll be about 1100 miles. But it is very nice and sunny out here today. So that we do like. Like that very much, actually. So, let's put the hammer down and let's get some miles behind us. Well, guys, we are still cruising along the highway here. And just enjoying our day. It's been a pretty nice day, actually, today. It was nice and sunny there this morning. Sun has slowly disappeared, but uh, that's okay. We still don't have no rain. No snow either. But it could be. It could snow overnight. You never know. I'm only showing like 9 degrees right now. We could definitely get some snow overnight. It could definitely go down to zero overnight. Yeah. It's been not too bad up here today. No heavy traffic. Really almost no traffic at all up here today, actually. Yeah. I just can't stop too many times today because Winnipeg. <laughs> I'm about half an hour away from uh, Cochrane, Ontario. Well, almost looks like the sun is starting to pop through over there a little bit now. Yeah, it's between a couple of clouds, that's about it. It ain't going to come through with these big clouds up here. Yeah, that's okay. We haven't had any scales open today. Oh, look at that. Tim Hortons. Everybody says it. Just says next uh, right. Well, I don't know where that is. <laughs> I guess we're coming up to uh, Timmy's up here somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah, guys. We have made it through Cochrane, Ontario. Yeah. And because it's Eastern time up here, and I drive according to Central time, the sun is starting to go down earlier. Because uh, Central time, it's only like 3... Uh, 3.50 right now. Yeah. So it's fairly early in the afternoon. And it looks like it's starting to get dark over here already. I don't know why, but I guess it's because of clouds and then on the eastern time zone, I guess, it's just getting darker sooner. I guess because I drove late last night, I couldn't start early this morning, so I guess we're going to have to do some driving in the night tonight. That's what it's probably going to end up being. Oh well. Not sure exactly where we'll be stopping for tonight. Alrighty guys, we are still cruising along here on Highway 11. As you can obviously see, it's dark. And I'm testing out my new lights. Yeah, that's my uh, spotlights. My regular headlights, high beam. Yeah, that's my uh, low beam. It's looking pretty good actually. High beam, spotlights. Yeah, I think she's looking pretty bright out there. It's only four degrees right now, so we're very close to freezing point. So we could actually get some snow tonight. It is a highly possibility that we could get it. Don't want to say it too loud, but it could happen. Maybe ice, rain, or snow, one or the other. Highly possibility. I think last week or the week before, they already had snow up here. In this area where I'm going at right now. So, we'll 
we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed so it won't be too bad. We'll still be able to roll. About 160 kilometers to go to Long Lake, Ontario. And we got absolutely no cell service up here. Probably in another 20 kilometers or so and then I'll lose cell and then I won't have no service until I get up to about 50 kilometers before uh, before Long Lake. That's right. As you can obviously see, not too much going on up here. Bush, that's all we get. You don't see no cities, no towns. Basically from Hearst, uh, Hearst, Ontario, when you leave there, pretty much nothing all the way up to uh, Long Lake, Ontario. It's about two and two and a quarter hour driving. Pretty much nothing in between there. But that's the way it goes. Ah, it looks like we got somebody coming up there, so we'll turn our headlights down. There we go. Yeah. You, uh, you definitely want to uh, keep your high beams open up here because uh, this is moose country. And you could always have a chance of seeing a moose up here. Or possibly a deer, sometimes a bear. There's a lot of wildlife up here in this area, that's for sure. But yeah, we'll keep our eyes open for him. Oh, hopefully nothing happens. We'll hope for the best. Keep a good eye on everything and uh, hopefully nothing will happen, right? Yeah, that's the goal anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'm still feeling pretty good. Don't really feel tired just yet. It's been a good day though. It's uh, we got a few miles behind us. We got almost 600 miles behind us now. Probably in the next 20 minutes or so, we'll have about uh, 600 miles in the today. And we got way more than that to go yet. We probably have. Uh, Probably 750 miles to go yet, almost. Well, it's uh, 1150 kilometers, so divide that by 1.6 and you'll have your mileage. But uh, yeah, it's a long way to Winnipeg, yeah, that's for sure. I figured I'll try and make it more closer to being halfway. We got another vehicle, oh, actually, two vehicles coming, so. Anyways, I'll cut it for now. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, that is pretty much it for today. Yeah, we have had a fantastic day. It's been a long day, but it's been a fantastic day. Yeah, we got a thousand and eighty-four kilometers in. So that's about 650 miles uh, roughly around there. So, you know, I could do more here in Canada if I really wanted to, but the thing is, from here to uh, South St. Marie, there really, uh, South St. Marie, from here to uh, Nipigon, there really isn't that much either, you know. There is a few places where I can stop at, but I eh, got uh, 996 kilometers to go tomorrow. So it's just a little bit over halfway. So we are doing fantastic on that department. So I'm very happy about that. So, but, anyways. We are just on a uh, sort of like a not really a rest area but a Canadian style rest area if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's more like two trucks maybe three trucks can fit into this area and that's it. <laughs> There's one truck on that side and I'm on this side and there could probably one behind me could probably get away with parking in there right on that side is where the highway is that's it you know but anyways have a good one everybody thanks for checking us out today and uh, watching my today's vlog be sure to stick around for tomorrow we have some interesting things coming up see ya then
this behind me 